The government has in recent years intensified efforts aimed at empowering vulnerable groups by launching various programs targeting such populations. Speaking at the 4th International Widows Day in Nairobi, Youth and Gender Cabinet Secretary Professor Margaret Kobia painted a grim picture on the fate of the elderly. Kobia saying 245 million widows in the world face a myriad of challenges from lack of employment, insecurity, social discrimination to physical and mental abuse. They are especially vulnerable in patriarchal societies like ours in Kenya. The CS now urging stakeholders in the education sector to provide widows with skilled training for sustainable and legitimate sources of livelihood. As government, we have put in place various programs that provide opportunities for capacity building and skill training for the widows. One of the flagship programs is access to government procurement opportunities program. Our widows need protection. A lot of them complain about the fact that they have succession issues, uh, they have inheritance issues, uh, they have uh, no knowledge. I've recently met widows that have no knowledge how their husbands' businesses were running. The Ministry of Youth and Gender has partnered with the United Nations agencies in implementing a joint program on gender-based violence with an aim to protect women from violence through prevention, protection, programming, and partnership building. Irene Mchuma Udim, Channel One.